How to draw a baby goose. Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this baby goose step by step. This is an easy drawing lesson for kids, beginners, and kids of all ages. <music> Hi everyone, welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Animal Farm, we draw all sorts of animals. So let's draw. This is what you'll need for today's drawing. You're going to need a piece of paper. I have my dollar store drawing pad here. It's 11 inches by eight and a half inches. I've got my pencil. I have an eraser. I have my old paintbrush that I use to dust off my page. I have my black fine tipped marker that's for outlining and for color we're using markers i have yellow orange and black so why don't i clear my space and we can begin drawing our little baby goose all right let's start with the baby goose's head now what we're going to do is draw some shapes and some outlines and we're going to erase just to make it easier and I'll show you because if we start doing all detail right away, it might get a little confusing. So let's start with the baby goose's head. Let's draw a round circle for the baby goose's head. As round as you can get it. Mine's a little lopsided, but that's okay. Now for his beak, because he's a, he's a he today, watch how I draw the beak. I'm going to draw a little circle here or a little arc. All right. And then it's going to come up like this through the circle. Down and under like this. Kind of, if you think of a UFO, it kind of looks like a lopsided UFO. Now what I'm going to do right away is erase just so that you can see what it looks like. You see that line there? I'm going to erase it. And yes, I'm using my fancy eraser here. <laughs> just use whatever eraser you have. I like this one because it feels like a pencil. And I just made an extra line there. I'm going to erase that too. Okay, you see how that shape looks now? So why don't we just give him a smile right away. So right about here, we're going to draw a little smile like that. And a little oval, I have lots of pet hair hanging around here. A little oval shape here for his nostril. So that's his beak. And we're gonna draw his eye right about here. I'm gonna draw a big oval eye, just like that and his pupil and we're going to make it on the side. Sometimes I put it in the middle but it's on the side now so it makes it look like he's looking over here. Okay now what we're going to do is draw his body. So first we're going to draw, let's see, his neck. I'm going to try to do this all in one shot so I'm going to go slowly because he's got a short little body and some feathers. I'm going to stop there for now and I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to draw some more feathers. And like I said, if they touch or interlap or anything like that, don't worry about it. We can always erase. Now baby geese are very feathery, so we've got to add a lot of feathers. So we're going to start about here and we'll go one, two, three, like that and maybe some here one two three like that and how about here one two three lots and lots of feathers on this little fella <laughs> now for his head watch what I do here I'm going to go down and I'm going to do a little feathery thing here and a little feathery thing here and then I'm going to join the circle and we're going to erase that circle line. Now watch, I'll erase it just to make it obvious for you what I've done. Because he's got feathers on his head too. We don't want to forget that. So you see, looks a little better. 
Now the last thing we're going to do is draw his little feet. He's got little, little feet. So about here we're going to draw two little lines and about here two little lines. Okay, and for his feet we'll draw one round toe, two round toes, a little arch to make his ankle. Okay, and we'll do the same thing here. One little toe, two little toes, a little arch, and his ankle. Okay, so that's the basic shape of our little goose. Although what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix his beak a little because I think I made it a bit too big. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to change the shape of it a little bit. And I might erase that nostril too. This is why we have erasers on our pencils, right? If we don't like what we're doing, we can erase and fix. I think that looks a lot better. I made his beak way too big. There we go. So now I'm going to put his nostril back in, but I'm putting it a little further back, maybe about there. I think that looks a lot better. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outline with my fine liner, my black fine tipped marker, and then I'm going to erase all of my pencil marks. Okay, so I'll leave that up to you what you want to do. So like I said, I'm going to start by outlining. And I'm not too worried about following my pencil marks because like I said, I'm going to be erasing them. But if you're not erasing them, why don't you try to follow your pencil marks, okay? But like I said, I don't care because I'm erasing them. The only thing I don't want you to do is draw in that line, okay? I'll erase it right away to show you because it's all part of his body. We don't want to draw a line there, okay? So why don't I go ahead and do his beak? And his smile. <laughs> you might hear my dog snoring in the background. I can hear them. Oh, we forgot this one here. There we go. And his little feet. There we go. Now, like I mentioned, I'm going to be erasing my pencil marks. If you're going to erase your pencil marks, my friends, make sure your marker is dry. I know my marker and it's dry, so I don't have to worry about it. But if your marker isn't dry and you start to erase, you're going to smudge everything everywhere. So just make sure your, your, um, your marker is dry. Okay, so why don't I go ahead and start erasing. And I'm not erasing very hard because even though it's marker, you could accidentally erase some marker. It doesn't erase completely. <laughs> One of my dogs is snoring very loud right now. She's in the sunshine and she's very warm and she's sleeping like a baby. <laughs> yes, I was saying markers can be erased a little bit. Not much, but if you press hard, you could erase them to the point where they fade and they don't, they don't look so nice. So if you feel you have to erase more than once, that's okay. Just go over it a couple of times, but don't press down too hard. All right. This baby goose is looking cute and I have a feeling that my camera is shaking as I do this. So I'm sorry about that. I could see it out of the corner of my eye.
There we go. All of my pencil marks are erased. So I'm going to start to add some color. I'm going to start with my orange color, okay? Now, what we're coloring in orange is his beak and his feet. And if you get orange into the nostril, that's okay because we're going to be coloring that in black. And black covers orange. So I'm just going to color in his beak orange with these beautiful markers. And I'm going to try not to get any orange outside of my lines because his body is going to be yellow. And yellow is lighter than orange and we don't want any orange in the yellow if we can help it. If you get orange into this area here, don't worry. We're just here to have fun, right? But if you can help it, try not to. There we go. Now I'm going to do his feet. I just noticed actually there's a little bit of pencil here and I know I'm just being picky but there we go. That makes me feel better. <laughs> so let me color in his little feet. I got the idea to do this drawing because one of my friends has a farm and she's She's got some goose eggs that she thinks are fertilized and they're going to turn into baby geese. So when she told me that, I was like, oh, maybe I'll draw them. I'll draw a baby goose. A baby goose is called a gosling. That's what it's called, a gosling. You know, like if you have a baby duck, it's called a duckling. Well, a baby goose is called a gosling. There we go. So I'm all done with my orange. I'm going to take my yellow marker and the rest of the baby goose is yellow, except the eye. Okay, so try not to get any yellow into his eye and we'll just color him in yellow. Goslings have a beautiful yellow and a kind of greenish color to them. They almost look yellow and brown and green. And they have so many, they look so fluffy. <laughs> They're so feathery. You might, I don't know if you see anything underneath here. It's because I always put a piece of paper underneath so that the marker doesn't get on my page, the next page. So if you see anything coming through, that's just this on this paper. Like there's a big blotch there, but I'll take all that out at the end so you can see what it really looks like without all that stuff underneath. But yes, my markers do bleed through the page. That's what you call it. It bleeds through. So if I want to save the page underneath, I always make sure that I put a, a practice page underneath or a scrap paper. And this is the perfect time to be drawing a baby goose because here in Canada, it's nearly springtime. Actually, I think we're having an early spring, at least where I live. We haven't had any snow for a while, which is really nice. And when we do get snow, it all melts really quickly because it's so sunny out. It's very, very nice. I love early springs. I don't really like winter very much. It's too cold. So this is an interesting drawing for you to pay attention to coloring because we have all those tips there. The little tips of the wings. And if you pay attention to detail, try not to get outside the lines.
It's a good exercise in paying attention to detail. So I'm not going to talk too much while I do this. And if you watch my channel, you're going to say, Rain, you're not going to talk too much. <laughs> I talk a lot. Yes, I do. There we go. So I got all the tips of the wings done. I'm just kind of coloring in all different places. And I don't have to worry about these tips because they're all on this side, on the inside of the little baby goose. These markers are great. If you know the store Michaels, that's where I got them. You don't need this type of marker at all to do this drawing. You could even do this with crayons or coloring pencils. But I love these markers because they have that tip and it looks and it feels, looks and feels like a paintbrush. It's really cool. And I've mentioned in other videos that the dollar store does have the same type of marker that one end looks like a paintbrush. So you don't have to go out and buy expensive stuff. You could just buy at the dollar store. All of my drawing pads come from the dollar store. I think our little baby goose is looking really, really cute. I just want to pick him up and hug him. How are you guys doing? How's your little baby goose looking? I'm almost finished coloring mine in. I think he's looking so cute. <laughs> We're going to add some detail at the end. There, I've got all of my yellow in, and I think that looks really nice. So now I'm going to take my black marker, and I'm going to fill in his nostril with black. like that. And his pupil is going to be black as well. So let's fill in his pupil with black. There we go. He's got a big eye there. <laughs> I'm going to take my fine liner. You can use any black marker you want, but I like the fine tipped marker. I'm just going to give him an eyebrow. There we go. And that's our little baby goose. Did you enjoy that, my friends? I really hope that you enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do is sign my work and I want you to sign your work, my friends. There we go. Always sign your work. I want you to be very, very proud of the work of art that you've just created. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends, and we'll see you next time on Animal Farm. Thanks for watching. Bye.